whenever you're ready, my friend. Genetics have played a role, a large role, in the evolution of all species over the course of history. Charles Darwin's study of genetics has led to many discoveries of compatibility between various species throughout the world. This topic is an incontrovertible point for the validity of Darwinism due to the due to the lucid similarities between species that were determined to be evolutions of other species. According to Source D, the study of human genetics show how closely related we are to other primates. In fact, how connected we are with all other organisms. And we can indicate the prehistoric migrations of our species, homo sapiens, all over the world. As stated in the quote, humans are determined to be evolutions of another species due to the similarities found in the study of human genetics that are coherent to another species. In the scientific field, there have been tests and research conducted in order to prove genetics and evolution. This has determined that the Homo sapien species was evolved from the monkey species over an extensive period of time because of undeniable genetic similarities. Three seconds. The study of genetics emphasized the clarity and scientifically proved the theory of Darwinism using compatibility of genetics between multitudes of species, including Homo sapiens. One minute, 42 seconds. Romans 120 states the invisible things of God are clearly seen in all the things that have been made. Therefore, God is like gravity. You can't see it, but you can see how it's there based on his effects on matter. So yes, things have changed, but you can see that they've changed perfectly over time to create our world today. And also, we see that you did not rebut our statements, perhaps because you were scared. Scared of, <laughs> scared of the facts? Perhaps scared of... God, this room might seem hot, but I assure you it's not as hot as where many of us may be going. <laughs> okay, 31 seconds. Last point for creationism. <laughs> oh, so let's end this now. There's no possible way that a species as ideal and as complex as man could have come to be through Darwin's process of evolution. Humans are too perfect to be upon this earth by evolutional chance. Evolution is a piecemeal process that gradually eliminates undesirable traits from species over long periods of time. The evolution duration of humans is relatively small and is far too short a span to allow the evolution of man to have all the complex structures and functions that it has today. All these components have their own specific scientific functions in the body, and furthermore, they all intertwine and work in perfect unison with each other to produce a nearly flawless design. If one part fails, the whole system is at risk to collapse. The irreducible complexity of this plot of the human body contradicts Darwinism. The human eye can support the objectivity of this logic. Source E states that critics question whether highly complex structures like a human eye could have ever evolved gradually through a whole series of minor modifications from whatever primitive sensory apparatus belonged to simple one-celled organisms. The eye adjusts optimally to focus and detect colors to allow human to form a quality vision of the world around them. It not only works with the brain, but also with the muscles and the nerves. The eye is only one minuscule part of the body. What are the chances that every single part of the human's multiplex internal and external structures evolves perfectly together? The answer is thoroughly implausible. Even with all the time in the world, and especially with the time constraint given, the only coherent solution to this problem is the didactic reasoning that God created man with all its complexity to be well adapted for life upon earth. One minute, 30 seconds. Rebuttal. I was going to start by saying I may have not reviewed your point because no parts of your point have any evidence that need to be reviewed. And I also have too much integrity to pander to a foolish and fictional theory. So humans are perfect for, the, for this earth, as I said before, because we evolved for it. This is shown by fossil evidence, DNA, and a plethora of various other evidence. Humans are perfect because the imperfect humans, millions of years ago, died out and didn't reproduce. So, all the humans with the beneficial variations from natural selection reproduced, made new humans that had those variations, and over billions of years, which we are given by the theory of light, um, we have enough time to evolve, and we're here, perfect for this Earth. Okay, 50 seconds. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to give you guys